This is the Rumor Report with Angela Yee. Rumor has it. On the Breakfast Club. So listen up. Nah, 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 nah. Yes, so we all know that rap battles are supposed to be disrespectful, right? You go in on the other person and you come at them, you try to get them so mad that they get flustered. They might want to punch you in the face. They might want to give up. But there are definitely, I feel like, some lines that should not be crossed. And I didn't really want to give this person attention, but I feel like we have to discuss this uh, because this made me feel sick when I heard it. This battle rapper named Giorgio Casper, he went viral because of this rap battle. And here are the, some of the things that he said about a six-year-old young black girl. Let's get personal, my <laughs> Look at your daughter and look at my daughter. That. Look at our baby mamas. Your baby mama black. My baby mama strapped, light-skinned, cute as shit. Your baby mama's this. That means pop. You're a rapper. Your daughter's feature's gonna be ludicrous. I'm gonna kidnap that bitch, drag her by her hair, then bitch slap that bitch, put her out on the strip. I don't give a fuck if she's six. If 30 niggas give me $30, and she's sucking 30 you know, uh, I studied The Four Agreements by Don Miguel Ruiz, one of my favorite books, and one of The Four Agreements is don't take anything personally. I don't see how you can't take that personally. Nah, <laughs> there's certain things. You, there's certain things you stay away. I, you know, I'm not a, I'm not a, a, a rapper. I'm not, I don't do battle rap, but there's certain things you don't talk about. You, you talk about my kids. It's 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 all it's all free game. Whatever happens, that's after all that happens after that. You know that's all. I don't even though. understand how you could even think like that, and the fact that people were standing there and cheering this on like this was amazing—that was not even uh, clever. It didn't have nothing to do with him, and you just trying to go in on a six-year-old talking about gang rape, and it's well, disgusting. Uh, well, listen, right? It's the same way that when they rap about killing each other 100 miles per hour. I, you listen to battle rap, they'll kill your mama, they'll kill your daddy, they'll kill your sister, they'll shoot everybody. So this is what happens when there's no there's no line. We, we've never, they've, they've been overstepping the line for years. So this is what happens. Man, pedophilia, children, all of that. that murder. Like, murder mm-hmm. of your somebody's mother. Like, like it's, it's all too far. But it's, there's clearly no line in battle rap. All right. Now, Chris Brown and Young Thug have unveiled that they're doing a joint mixtape, that Slime and B mixtape. And they just shared that that mixtape will be coming out on the 5th. So y'all excited for that? Cinco de Mayo. I'm a- I, I want to hear that. Honest with you. I do want to hear that. I I, for hear some it. reason, for some reason, that combination intrigues me. Chris Brown and Young Thug. I do want to hear that. I really do. All right. Now, uh, let's talk about trying to keep in contact when you guys are social distancing from each other. Karuchi and Victor Cruz said they have been FaceTiming each other for 20 hours a day. Victor Cruz recently spoke with Page Six, and he said they're quarantining separately and he's in New York for the time being while she's in L.A. with her family. He said, I'm in this solo and it's not fun at all. But they do talk 20 hours a day. And they're doing things like she's been teaching him how to cook during some of their video calls. He said he's been buying different meats and fish. And she's on FaceTime walking him through things. And it comes out great. So he said he's an expert now at turkey tacos. I couldn't imagine being by myself without my, my spouse or my wife or if I had a girlfriend at the time. Like, I couldn't imagine myself being away from gear during this time. I would, be, I would go crazy. Crazy. Well, my man isn't here right now. We're quarantined away from each other because I'm here working. But I will say that we talk so much. So I think that part has been really good. Like, we've been having mm-hmm. some great conversations and all day, every day, FaceTime, all of that. Right. Now, as a man, does that bother you, though? Does it bother you that you're not quarantined with your bae? But that's supposed to be bay. Like quarantine time is when you with the people that you really, really, truly love and care for. Like, does that bother you as a man if you're not with Bay? If Bay don't want to be quarantined with you? Well, I don't think it's a matter of they don't want to be. She's with her family and he's working. But I tell you, as soon as those flags How was he working? Are, yeah, he has um he's a host of uh, Pop of the Morning and they're also raising money for different COVID relief funds and food delivery services and doing stuff like that. I don't know. I mean, it would it would it would make me feel a little a little way if Bay didn't want to quarantine with me. I'm not gonna lie. If I, if if well, I was in that one, situation, what if one of you had coronavirus? But well, that's God damn. You bring the worst hypotheticals into and everything. Of course, they got to quarantine though. from each other if they got coronavirus. Yeah? Right. So things happen. Jesus Christ. So one of them got coronavirus. No, I'm just saying in general oh. that people are having those issues. All right. Now, another thing that coronavirus has thrown into the mix right now is that are you excited for that Deontay Wilder Tyson Fury fight that uh, was supposed to happen in July? No, I don't think Deontay should take the fight. They're, they're going to well, fight it's gonna now? It's going to be happening October 3rd. 
It's going to happen now. It got pushed back because of the pandemic. It was supposed to be in July. Now it's happening October 3rd. So there's a little bit more time to prepare for that, I guess. So how, they, the, are they training? Can they train and all that? Can they properly train? You can train. You can train if you're, you know, if you're in a, like you see Floyd Mayweather training. We've seen video of him, you know, working out and stuff like that. So you can still go someplace that's private and closed, I guess, to you and whatever couple of people you might have in there, your trainer. Okay. All well, right. You, the Janet yeah. Jackson biopic is in the works. And this is what I'm excited about. I saw this on the Jasmine brand and they said Janet Jackson may be getting a biopic. And they said the details are very scarce right now, but the project is being finalized. Auditions have already begun. And because of coronavirus, obviously, there's a bit of a pause on it, but it is going to be happening. Oh, salute to Janet Jackson. I can't wait to see that. I love me some Janet. Yeah, we've loved Janet since she was Penny. And not to mention Janet Jackson has told me that um, I'm attractive twice in my life. She told me I was handsome back in like 2007, 2008. And then when she came to the Breakfast Club that last year, maybe she told me I had beautiful eyes. Yeah, I wonder if I'll be in her biopic because, you know, I did DJ her, DJ for her once. I wonder if I'll, I'll be in her <laughs> You guys biopic. have great experiences. <laughs> yeah, I'm wondering that, too. I'm serious. I'm wondering that because I feel like we if had you going to be in a biopic, get out of here. Yeah, I feel, like we, I feel like we had two moments. You know what I'm saying? And I know that those moments were life. I know those moments were life changing for her. So, you know, I feel Shut like I should up, be in the biopic. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm Angela Yee, and that is your rumor report. 